Welcome, Mech Warrior. You're accessing beginner training manuals provided by Ronan Fox Armored Security. I will be your instructor, Fox. As this is a beginner manual, there will be some restrictions. No Lost Tech or Cantina upgrades will be factored. No mods such as yet another Mech Lab DLC will be allowed. Today, you will be learning the specifications, strengths, weaknesses, how to recustomize, and watch an annotated battle ROM of the Crab CRB20. Weight class, medium. Battle roll, skirmisher. Availability, rare. Threat level, moderate. The Crab CRB20 is a downgrade of the original Crab CRB27, a Star League model equipped with ferrofibrous armor. This armor would become Lost Tech, leading to a standard armor downgrade in order to maintain its production. The Crab is known for its all energy weapons payload, which promises lengthy deployments as it does not require ammunition reloads. However, it's a rare sight to see on the battlefield these days, and you're more likely to find one in the marketplace. CRB-20 specifications. Weight, 50 tons. Top speed, 81 kilometers forward, 53 kilometers reverse. This is normal for a mech of its weight class. Armor, 288 units, that's 9 tons. The chassis can handle a maximum of 350 armor units, that's 10.93 tons. 288 units of armor can be considered as moderately well armored for a mech of its weight. Weapons. Two large lasers, one in each arm. One medium laser, center torso. One small laser, head. Two medium actuator melee weapons rated at 15 damage each. Six additional heat sinks. CRB-20 strengths, weaknesses, and battlefield role. The CRB-20 is a type of skirmisher, which is a general-purpose, tactically flexible mech whose exact job varies depending on the mechs it is deployed with. Examples include acting as a heavy scout and a spotter for a larger missile-heavy long-range bombardment lance, playing the role of a hunter-killer, intercepting light ambushing targets on said long-range missile bombardment lance, or taking a frontline assault role when it is deployed in a smaller scale battlefield alongside other light or medium mechs and is facing other light or medium mechs where its armor is sufficient to hold its ground against moderate threats. The primary strength of the CRB-20 is a combination of its speed and highly accurate mid-range strike capabilities provided by the two large lasers. It is most effective against evasive, lightly armored targets who find it difficult to escape the CRB-20 as its top speed allows it to keep up and typically disable the leg of a light mech before it is able to escape. The primary weakness of the CRB-20 are the heat issues it suffers in prolonged combat against multiple mechs or very heavily armored mechs as the additional six heat sinks simply cannot keep up with firing the two large lasers as quickly as possible. And as the CRB-20 reaches overheating, the pilot will necessarily have to slow fire, greatly diminishing the CRB-20's total damage output. Lastly, it features slightly less armor than is considered normal for a skirmisher, which is a detriment to the CRB-20 as it limits its frontline capabilities, which is a vital role that the skirmisher provides and the 288 armor may not be up to the task. CRB-20 Mech Lab Recustomizations Ronin Fox Armored Security recommends the following rebuild to novice mech warriors who have yet to acquire much in the way of Lost Tech or Cantina upgrades. Start by removing all equipment from the mech and installing two large chemical lasers and 1.5 tons of large chemical laser ammo. This is 93 rounds. Large Chemical Laser is a DLC weapon that causes 2 damage less than a standard large laser, but in return it generates only 2.5 heat as opposed to the large laser's standard 7.5 heat. This will immediately resolve any of the heat issues that the CRB-20 originally had. Next, install two small lasers short burst. These are also DLC weapons and they are a personal preference, two standard small lasers will also be sufficient. 
This change is done to simplify the shot rhythm of the CRB-20, having two types of lasers with two types of firing rates instead of three types of lasers with three types of firing rates. Next, add two medium knuckles. This will upgrade the melee damage of the hand actuators to 20 damage each, the force of an AC-20. Add one heatsink and fully max the armor at 350 units, the chassis maximum. Tune the rear armor to be no less than 15 rear armor. It is possible to go less, however, skirmishers often are shot in the rear as sometimes they do play dynamic frontline roles, so less armor is not particularly advisable. This redesign of the CRB-20 simultaneously makes the mech easier for a novice mech warrior to use and expands on its already flexible design. With increased armor and improved heat efficiency, it can more effectively serve as a frontline battle mech, as well as protect the novice mech warrior from simple mistakes such as overheating and gives more generosity to damage taken. In addition to this, it now has a surprisingly deadly close-range punch, punishing enemy mechs who draw too close, as well as giving the new CRB-20 the ability to close intentionally with the enemy to deliver a knockout punch with the medium knuckles. Annotated Battle ROM The following is Battle ROM footage taken from the CRB-20 that was redesigned earlier in the demonstration for educational purposes. Mission Type Battlefield Difficulty rating, 33. Maximum drop weight, 200. Allied Lance Mechs, Hunchback 4G, Centurion A, Trebuchet 5N, all unmodified and in stock configuration. Lance made pilot skill, regular. Now commencing Battle ROM footage. This battle footage comes from the perspective of Zenko Lance's leader, designated Zenko 1, piloting the recustomized CRB-20 Crab. The Lance has quite a few LRM missiles, so they search for a relatively clean area to commence LRM bombardment from. Shortly after their arrival, a pair of scout mechs appear to determine the purpose of Zenko Lance and are greeted by Zenko 3 and 4's LRM barrages. Because Zenko Lance has a significant range advantage here, Zenko 1 engages at a medium range and does not approach. This is to avoid pointless damage from the scout mechs' primarily short-range weapons. A quick response team of warrior attack helicopters attempts to assist the scout mechs, but they had already been dispatched, and the Crab CRB-20's large chemical lasers easily dispatches them with their excellent accuracy. Multiple vehicles begin to appear from a variety of directions as the enemy vanguard approaches. Zenko Lance finds a superior firing position on a hill, and Zenko 2, the hunchback, is ordered to stand at the foot of the hill to guard. After arriving at the hill, Zenko-1 detaches from the lands and begins functioning as a heavy scout, searching for the enemy vehicles, providing radar locks for long-range LRM bombardment even without line of sight, and finishing off any enemies of opportunity, doing this while allowing the rest of Zenko lands to remain in their superior position. The enemy vanguard finally arrives in the form of a combined arms task force, including a full lance of medium mechs with attack helicopter support. Zenko 1 joined Zenko 2 in forming a front line to shield Zenko 3 and 4 and begin engaging the helicopters. The Igor attack gunships can be destroyed more easily by focusing fire on one of their turbines. Deprived of their aerial assets, Zenko-1 takes a moment to study the situation before choosing a course of action. He determines that the Wolverine will attempt to engage Zenko-3 and 4, which is the Lance's primary source of damage, and orders Zenko-2 to join him on an intercept course. The capabilities of the redesigned CRB-20 are now demonstrated as Zenko-1 commits to close combat with the Wolverine, punching through the armor of its arm with the enhanced claw. 
After destroying the Wolverine's primary weapon system and AC-5, Zenka-1 demonstrates the CRB-20's tactical flexibility, switching targets to a wounded Shadowhawk, targeting its already damaged leg. The Shadowhawk goes down to the combined firepower of Zenko-1, 3, and 4. Zenko-1 immediately reinforces Zenko-2, who is in combat with a Phoenix Hawk and the damaged Wolverine. Zenko-1 engages the Phoenix Hawk using the enhanced claws to tear through the mech's armor, while the Wolverine falls to Zenko-2's devastating AC-20. The Phoenix Hawk attempts to gain some space on Zenko-1's CRB-20, however, he demonstrates that the CRB-20 is fast enough to maintain pace, eventually catching up to the Phoenix Hawk and tearing it apart with the claws. The final element of the enemy lance, a trebuchet, is converged upon by Zenko Lance and easily destroyed now that it has been deprived of both its spotters and its guards. Zenko Lance returns home with no component losses, no armor breaches, and light to moderately heavy armor damage. This concludes the Battle ROM. This concludes the beginner level training manual for the Crab CRB-20. You now have a much better understanding of what this mech is, its strengths, its weaknesses, specifications, how to customize it for better effectiveness on the battlefield, as well as a demonstration in how it was used in a fairly matched battle. Thank you once again for choosing Ronin Fox Armored Securities for all of your training needs. Okay, let's uh, get out of character and go back to myself. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you didn't find it too repetitive. I wanted to make it sound a little more militaristic, so I wanted to use the model name for the crab, the CRB-20, over and over again, which I felt made it sound a little more militaristic, but I'll know what you think. I'm sure they'll be like, oh, take a drink every time he says CRB-20 or something like that. Let me know how it feels, though, this more thematic role-playing way of doing the guides. I kind of like keeping things in character. You're just trying to immerse ourselves in the Battletech lore. Obviously, the more I do it, the better I'll get at my, uh, you know, like more commanding sounding voice, etc. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you've got a mech you'd like to request, feel free to submit it. Any feedback you have is nice. If, if you guys like it, I could go back and redo the other guides like this one as well. Just let me know what you think down in the comment section. Anyways, like the video if it was entertaining. Follow me, or so rather subscribe, rather, on YouTube so you can see some more MechWarrior 5 content. Don't forget, Get Good Fox VODs. That's another YouTube channel where I upload my MechWarrior 5 Twitch gameplay to YouTube so you can see some there. At any rate, though, till next time, have a good one. And remember, at the end of the day, that you don't have to be good to get good.